Okay, it's time for the most uh, complex of these products, um, uh, of these, uh, well, modifications, if you will. Um, it's the Lynx fairing that uh, will be used to get better light and better wind protection. Uh, I also ordered some uh, GPS mounts and stuff with it, and some really cool LED lights. Uh, there is a little wiring here, hopefully everything. Those according the headlight to the unit and the uh, instrument unit here come they come off pretty easily and please also note that i finally got i think i now actually got this one <laughs> i got it right finally after one more adjustment okay this is the dashboard the new dashboard that's where the abs light comes in and some neutral engine problem and well, some other lights, indicator light, I think. And uh, my OEM Speedo has been, uh, well, I un unscrewed that and uh, it's coming coming down here to be mounted at the lower part. And then my GPS is coming up here, but there will still be plenty of room to, to attach other stuff if I need, maybe road books and, and stuff. This hole and these three holes are pre-drilled. Whereas you have full freedom to, to drill new holes and, and mount new equipment wherever you want. Uh, it's uh, good, of course, that you have the flexibility. On the other hand, you have to, uh, well, you have to drill the holes in the right place. Speedo is in place. There's some uh, rubber grommets there in the back. Some neat holes drilled. You just take these small... Uh, well, I don't know what the name is, but there are LED lights in here from the dashboard of the 701 and you just click them here into this. Very convenient. I have now drilled holes for the fuse box, which will be on the rear side of this. Fuse uh, box in place. There's also uh, some additional wiring for the feeding of power to the, um, well, to the... Um, auxiliary stuff. I'm going to attach that to the frame and then connect it to the to the battery back here. Okay now we will start attaching wires to the um, fuse box and the relay and stuff and uh, I have to say the instructions are not totally clear here to me but um, yeah we'll see what could possibly go wrong. Right. The small bracket that will hold the entire lighting unit is now in place. With the location of the instruments that I want, I actually have to remove some of this, the old dashboard here, to um, be able to fit everything. Using this sheet metal cutting tool. You are actually uh, listening to a, or looking at a video from a total and complete and utter idiot, which is me. Because I just forgot that I need... Um, bar risers i'm pretty tall and i <laughs> actually mounted this speedo it's it's perfectly positioned behind the um, the handlebar right now it's absolutely perfect i cannot see one thing a couple of hours later uh, it's getting close now i've attached the fairing remounted the speedo <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we have this, um, there's a couple of screws here and I'm just going to check the electricals one last time before I, before I try if everything uh, actually works. While I'm at it, I'll, I will also uh, mount this uh, GPS and some electrical connection to it. I think now that everything is where it's supposed to be. Battery under here with the auxiliary auxiliary cables attached to it, ECU, this old stuff that I already did. Uh, I attached this uh, auxiliary cable here, GPS fixed, the thing uh, is free to move. Oh, it's just a box there. Yeah, let's try and start it up.
Okay. We'll see if everything works. So far, so good. Everything worked like a fiddle. The only thing that went wrong was actually when I indicate that I'm going right, <laughs> the left indicator is blinking. Apart from that, everything actually works. It's fantastic. Those tended to pop out, so I fixed them with some silicone. I hope that will make them stay where they are. Also adjusted the lights, no big problems with that. And finishing the whole thing off here, I will actually uh, mount the license plate to make the police happy. And also some handles for luggage, passenger to hold on and maybe for some luggage strapping too. Uh, and then the panels come back on and, and uh, the, whole, the whole thing will be more or less finished. Okay. It's time for the first test ride. This is actually the first time I ever ride this motorcycle, ever. It will be very exciting. just took it uh, around the block here and uh, first impressions are good there are a couple of adjustments that need to be done one or two buttons that uh, came loose <laughs> have to fix uh, but apart from that uh, it, it feels pretty good pretty light on its on its feet and uh, the engine is pokey I'm looking forward to do a real off-road test soon stay tuned <laughs>